Oh my gosh, it seems like forever since I saw you last and it's only been a couple of days, but good morning, happy Monday. How are you all? I gotta tell you, I miss you all on my weekends and I know that I have to, of course, take time off for my mental health and all of that, but come Sunday night, I was like, yeah, you know what? In the morning, we will be back together. And so here I am and it's gonna be a fun week. This is a... Um, we're going to celebrate this week. We're going to celebrate the last week of me being 58. And on Saturday, I'm actually going to be on here and we're going to do a, um, I'm going to come live on Saturday. It's going to be a little bonus live stream this week. And I'm going to spend some time with you on my birthday. And we're going to hang out and we're going to do, I don't know, we're going to do birthday stuff, whatever you do on your birthday. Hello, Lauren. And it got me to thinking because a lot of times like I hear and I see all the time like, women being like, oh, I don't celebrate my birthdays. And I'm like, why? Hello, Linda. I'm like, why would you not celebrate your birthdays? I mean, it's an accomplishment. You made it another year. And, and I really want to just, I want to go into my 59th year with celebrating. I'm not going to go in dragging my feet and I'm going to go in just absolutely packed full of energy. Because I had over the weekend, I kind of had like, I don't know, I did a, a post and I'll show you the post I did. I don't believe that I put it on, I don't believe I put it on YouTube. So I will pull up the post that I put. I put it on TikTok and I put it on Instagram. And basically what it was is I was looking for an outfit. I I had an idea in mind of what I wanted to wear. I, but it didn't work out, so I tried something else and I tried something else. And so I posted this TikTok. And one of my um, followers who's been following me since the beginning, she reached out to me in, in a very nice way. She's like, hey, Lonnie, I've been following you since, you know, day one and your energy, your energy seems off. Are you okay? And I instantly responded to her and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. And then I'm like, mm, I don't know, Lonnie, maybe you need to go back and take a look at this, this TikTok that you did. And so I went back and I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, she was spot on. You know, she was spot on on the fact that while I was still smiling and I was still talking, my energy was definitely off. So then I was like, this is interesting. Okay, Lonnie, what was going on? And I looked back, let me show you, let me show you the, the, um, let me show you the post first and then we'll, we'll continue this conversation, but let me find this really quick here and I will, and I can pull it up really easy. Don't worry. It's not going to be one of those, you know, one of those ones where it's like, oh my gosh, Lonnie, how long is it going to take you to find something? And it's not going to be that one. So this is right here. Mm -hmm. This is the, and I don't know, even when I was looking at it, I was like, why did I do this? Okay, so let me pull this up. And I know how to fix our problem really quick because this always happens. And I used to like have a complete meltdown, no longer need to have a meltdown because I know how to fix my stuff. Okay, so this right here, this is the this is the whole post so let me show you what she was talking about and let me bring this over here and there i am and here's what here's the the TikTok. for today's outfit i want to style this cute new little free people top i got and i have two different ideas for how I'm gonna style this and I want your opinion. So let me show you my ideas. I was gonna wear it with these pants that I found thrifting. These are from H&M, so hold on. They have a little bit of a crop to them and then I was gonna wear them with my Birkenstocks. So this is one look. Now let me show you my other one. The second look for my top is with these distressed Target overalls. And I think these are cute. I mean, I like this vibe better but uh, you can't really see my top. Urgh. All right, let me go try something else. Okay, I think we have the winner. And what I did is I grabbed my Free People Tahiti pants in brown, and then I have my Birkenstocks on. Let me go grab some accessories and I'll be right back. For my accessories, I just have a cute little necklace. I grabbed my Coach. This is the cutest little crossbody bag. It has Snoopy on it, so I have that. 
And then I have my Ray-Bans. Let me know your thoughts. Did you like the other two outfits? Do you have any suggestions? Do you have any questions? I think this is a stinking cute outfit. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so that was my TikTok. Now, she mentioned, and she was right. I mean, I know when I look at it, I can see a little bit of my energy just not being spot on. I mean, it was just... It, hello, Pamela. It just wasn't me. And so I was like, I, for one thing, I was really uncomfortable in those clothes I was trying on. I was struggling big time with um, the way my clothes were fitting. The one pair that I had, um, those little floral pants that I had gotten thrifting, they are super tight. These right here, let me show you that I would I had a hard time zipping up these suckers so let me show you this so these pants right here they weren't fitting right and I I was so uncomfortable they were they're even though that they're like a floral material they're super heavy so I was uncomfortable with my pants and then I was uncomfortable with I kind of like with my shoes with this but then you could fast forward a little bit and out of this entire video, the only thing that I was comfortable in were my, my, my overalls, 100% my overalls. So here's the moral of the story of what I'm trying to get to. It's I could see the difference in my energy by what I was wearing. So to me, the underlying important message and really what I want to, you know what? And here's the thing, Tiggy, is I know that they were cute outfits. It was just how I was feeling in those outfits. I was, again, I was just so incredibly uncomfortable that you could have taken that outfit and put it on somebody who could have rocked it and their energy would have been perfect. And what I'm trying to get to is the correlation between your outfit, your clothes, and your energy. And it's amazing the difference of how it makes you feel. Because what I'm going to do is after I got that, um, after I got that message and I realized that she was correct, I decided to address it. And I want to show you the difference in my energy when I'm actually wearing something that I like. So Here's the next one that we're gonna look at, and here's my response. To so it. hi, yes, I went back and I looked at that video, and you're right, my energy was off. I was just having one of those days where everything, I don't know, I didn't like anything I put on. I was struggling with my weight, I was struggling with my body, I was just struggling with my style. So when I went back and I looked at it, I'm like, you know what, Lonnie? There was only one outfit on there that you truly like shined, and that was when I had my overalls on. So guess what I'm wearing today? That's right, I am wearing my overalls today. I always say that style and fashion really don't have much to do with the actual clothes you're wearing, but how your clothes make you feel. And my overalls make me feel great. So today is an overall kind of day. I again have my cute little distressed overalls that I got at Target. Oh my gosh, these were the best find ever. I got this cute little top from Free People when I went into their store. This is the Clean Line Muscle Tank and it looks super tiny, but it's super comfortable and I love the fit of this. And then I'm gonna wear my new Sambas because you know why? I can. And I'm back. Here I am, full of energy. I love my outfit. I have my cute little overalls on with my little Sambas and this, this feels like me. So remember, pick your clothes to match your energy. Style and trends come and go, but you're always going to be you. Find that style that makes you confident and absolutely 100% rock that look every single day. And here is my final touch to my outfit. And I am off to conquer the world. I'll see y'all tomorrow. See, now that's just the whole thing. It's, it's, that's the difference between, hold on, bloop, bloop. That's the difference between trying to, it's like trying to shove a square peg into a round hole. And that's kind of like how I felt like what I was doing with those other outfits. 
I changed my clothes for my reunion like five times. Yeah, because you have to find the right vibe. But I tell myself this all the time, and I find myself constantly like just falling back into the same trap sometimes of where I'm like, okay, I, I have to wear this today. And then when I go to put it on, I'm like, this isn't matching who I am today. And it could be a perfectly cute outfit. I, you know what? Either one of those outfits, I could put them on on any other day of the week and they might work just fine. But for me in particular on that day, it just was not working. So I wanted to take this and I wanted to take it as a learning lesson and just be like, you know, if you're out there and you're struggling with your style, it might just be that you have this preconceived notion of what your style is supposed to be and you're not really listening to what your inner you is telling you that you want to wear. A lot of times, again, it's like we think we're supposed to wear something and then when we wear it, if we don't feel good, regardless if it's cute on or off, you're not going to be able to rock it and it's not going to project the right energy. So I just really, you know, I thought it was a really fun learning lesson. And sometimes I'll do TikToks or I'll do an Instagram reel, but they're, they're like over a minute. And I am, um, I can't go over a minute on shorts on, here on YouTube. So I always try to like cut it down so that way I can get my message out. But it's just, it's really, really, really important. And again, I love fashion and I love style and I love talking about clothes and, and putting cute things together. But you always have to take the suggestions that I give and the things that I show you and then apply it to you and your energy because that's what's important. Your style is not a, it, it's not so much about the clothes you wear, but more how you rock the clothes that you're wearing. Ah, there, she said it once again. So yeah, and it's Monday and it's going to be a good day because today I, oh, because I said I have five days left of being 58. So what I'm doing is I'm recording a, um, I'm recording my outfits every day, like always, but I'm doing a countdown to my 59th birthday. So I'm trying to, for the next five days, I'm going to try really hard to um, just push my style. And let me show you what I'm wearing today because I'm wearing, again, I'm wearing suspenders. And then this top, I mean, this top's got a little bit of things going on here and I don't usually like have this happening, but I wanted, but I, you know what? It's like, what the heck? Um, preach, so true. Well, thank you, Pamela. I, I'm like, you know what? If, if it's there, it shows, it's there and it shows. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just, it just happened to be this way. But I wanted to wear a bright pop of color. Hello, Regan. I wanted to wear a bright pop of color, so I picked my really bright menswear pants. And then I have my, my Sambas on. So for the next five days, I am going to just, um, I'm just going to, you know what? I am just going to push, I'm going, no, I'm not going to push the boundaries. I'm going to allow myself absolutely to wear whatever I want to um, usher out my 58th year. So yesterday, um, Robert and I actually ended up taking Indy to a lake here in town. And my dog is the biggest chicken in the world. She is, I mean, my poor little girl, she is just racked with anxiety sometimes. And I know that they have like those thunder shirts. Um, Claire says, if you got it, flaunt it. Linda says, you look great. Thank you. So I know that they have those little thunder shirts and I really need to get her one, but it's so hot. I couldn't imagine putting a shirt on her, but we took her to a lake yesterday. And in the very beginning, she was just like, why did you bring me here? This is nothing but new sounds, new, new this, new that. And she did really well. By the end of the day, she absolutely was like more comfortable. She was sniffing around. So I have made it um, my mission. I'm going to start taking her out more and letting her experience new things. Because, I mean, I work from home. Robert works from home. Um, and we're always home. And she 
she's a little she needs to she needs to spread her little puppy wings and start um, knowing that she can do things very dog like. And Pamela says, I saw that video and the lake looked beautiful. Yeah. You know what? Because this is the first year that that lake has actually had a decent amount of water in it. And um, so I was really surprised when we were walking the different areas that I could see the water on the hike. And it was really nice. And it was it was a nice change of pace. And it was, it was a good weekend. Um, Robert and I recorded our podcast for today. And we've been having a little bit of communication issues because now if you're new here, or you're watching the live for the first time, Moist Salt, hello, how are you? Now, if you're watching a live for the first time, um, my backstory is, is that um, I was an addict until I was like 51. Yeah, because I'm going to be 59. So 51, 52. I was an alcoholic, a gambling um, addict, and I smoked a pack and a half a day. So I did uh, all of that when my children were younger. So we've had a real sort of like journey of learning how to reconnect as adults and communicate. So over the past couple of weeks on our podcasts, there's been a lot of tension between Robert and I, and um, it's just a matter of learning each other's, how we communicate, um, just giving each other their own space when they need it. But yesterday's, um, we recorded it on Saturday, and it was a really nice podcast. You know what? I feel like Robert and I have, um, I'm doing well, thank you. Um, I really feel like Robert and I are starting to just appreciate each other for who we are. I mean, we're both Leos and sometimes we have a tendency to clash. Whereas Brandon and I have such similar personalities that we have very similar energy and it's very easy for us to communicate. So it was something that, um, it was nice. It was a really nice chance to be able to sit down and just have a really like compassionate conversation with each other. And it, to me, it's like every time that we hit a little bit of a rough patch in our communication, it's just the way it's supposed to be. You know what? It's growth and we're both learning. And sometimes growth requires hurt feelings. It requires to hear the things you don't want to hear. And I really feel like the last, I would say the last month, we have gone through that really rough spot of communication. So if you're trying to build, rebuild communication with anybody in your life, just sometimes just realize that people have to say what they have to say. They have to get it out. And, you know, it might hurt your feelings at the time, but you can always take that as a, um, as just a stepping stone. And it was nice. It was, it was, like I said, it was a really nice conversation. And, um, it, it's just really nice to see both of my children after everything that um, was heaped on them when they were younger to be thriving adults. And to me, it's everything that I always wanted. You know, I never wanted harm for my children. I just didn't stop. I just hurt them. You know, my addiction was in control. So um, there was that. And then, oh my gosh, my Doc Martin commercials, um, my campaigns, Doc Martin has not posted theirs yet, but when they do, I'll show you that one. It did really well, and that made me feel really good. It really made me feel like um, I wasn't being an imposter. I was just kind of like, wow, yeah, you know what? I could represent that brand. And I am just so over the moon that I'm able to um, do this campaign for them being the age that I am, because it's not so much about like, Hey, you know what? I mean, I think they're great boots, but it's really just very much like if I can do it, you can do it. If, if I can find my, my own fashion in my own way, you can find your own fashion in your own way. So it's, it's, I've been very pleased about that. Let's just put it that way. And then I went thrifting, I cannot show you everything because I did a video. And if I show you it now, it would just ruin it on the video. But I did go thrifting, okay? And I went to the Goodwill here in town. 
And I went in specifically looking for free people items because I've bought quite a few free people items here lately that are brand new. And I was like, I can't keep buying all the new stuff. I need to go find, yeah, thrifting. I need to go find some things that, um, that are used. And I literally only found one free people item. And I was there for two hours and it was just one of those, it was a really fun trip it, or yeah, trip, I guess I could call it that because it was in the next town, but it was just one of those, like, it wasn't very busy. The music was really good. It was like, took me right back to like 1993. And so I was singing and I was shopping, but one of the things that I want to show you that I found is check out this t-shirt I found. I was amazed. Oops, hold on. I was amazed when I found this. It's an actual Beatles brand and it's a, the Abbey Road uh, graphic tee. And I jumped for this. I don't know if you all go thrifting when you see that thing, like maybe within like an arm's distance, but there's somebody between you and that item. And you're just like, I will become violent if you even go anywhere near that item because I have the ocular pat down. I, I, I have visualized this in my cart before you even saw it kind of thing. And that's what this was. And so I was looking for, Robert had asked um, if I, when I was there, if I found like any cool t-shirts that he could cut into tank tops to grab them. And I did find him some cool ones. But I saw this and I was like, there is no way your scissors are getting anywhere near this one. It's a size medium. It's, um, I believe that this is a men's t-shirt, so it might be a little bit oversized, but I'm like, who cares? You know what? I'll roll up the sleeves. I'll um, put like a little knot or I'll French tuck this, but look how cute that this would look with these pants. With the, wouldn't that be cute? So this is something when it gets a little bit cooler, I will be putting this in um, my wardrobe rotation, but I have those green Tahiti pants. And so I can wear them with that, but my brown Tahiti pants, my cargo pants, ah, my gosh, I am just in love with this. Moist Salt says, yes, <laughs> laugh my L-M-A-O-O. -O. I once found a red snakeskin leather blazer and I was like, um, that was it. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I personally think there are rules for thrifting, okay? Now, I know, I know you have to actually have a hand on it for it to, like, actually be yours. But I think that the visual comes in for something. And what happens is, is that when I beeline it and I see it, I don't make direct eye contact with anybody else. Because if you break your gaze, you break that commitment. And if you look at anybody else, that gives them the opportunity to be like, oh, excuse me, I saw that first. Or I was going to take that. Mm -mm. No eye contact. It is like, you're just like that one, you're, you're that leopard in the jungle who's going to jump on its prey. It doesn't look around and be like, hey, other leopards, does anybody else see this? Does anybody else want this prey? Mm -mm. This is a... This is a survival of the fittest sort of thrifting tip. So no direct eye contact. Don't break the, the ocular visual contact and go for it. So yeah, I was pretty excited about that one. And then let me show you what else. I'll show you a couple of other things. Yeah. So I found um, these. It says, haha, yep, some lady was looking at it while I had it in my hand. And I was like, no, nah. <gasps> yeah, isn't that weird how that happens? Okay, you have to be careful of those ladies and they're out there and there's guys out there too, but they're the professionals. What they do is they'll come up and they'll start sweet talking you, all right? They'll, they'll just side on up to you and they'll be like, oh, honey, that looks good on you. But did you notice that right there? Oh, that that stitching isn't really in there very good. You just might want to be careful with that. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't really fit you. And then with their kindness, they try to talk you out of that item because they want it themselves. So then all of a sudden they're like putting all these little like self-doubts in your head. And then you're like, mm, well, maybe I don't need it. You put it back and they're like, 
they grab it. And then once they have it in their hands, you're like, hey, wait a minute. They're like, mm, sorry, you put it back. It's mine now. So yeah, you got to be careful of them. So that happened to me um, at that same Goodwill. I found this amazing denim skirt. It's uh, It hits me right above the ankle. It's um, like a mixed pattern denim skirt. It is perfect. And I was... Um, Oh, Linda says, I've heard people taking things out of your cart too. No, 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 no. See, that's why I walk around Goodwill like I'm a, like I'm ready for a fight, all right? I am not there to make friends. I have like this little, like, no, 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 no. I keep an eye on my cart at all times, but if somebody comes near my cart, mm, game on. This belongs to me, so... I would, I, if somebody took something out of my cart, I would go up and I'd be like, hands off, that's mine. That's when it would become, you know, that's when it would, that's when it would really start happening. But I was in line and the lady behind me and I saw the skirt at the exact same time because it was not out on the floor yet. It was on the little thing, the wheelie thing that they take out. And I was like, what? And I swear I heard her neck turn the exact same time. It was like, and then I, I, I looked at her and I'm like, Oh no, 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 no. And she looked at me and she's like, Oh no, no, no. Well, this girl's faster than she was. I'm like, Boink! went over, grabbed it. And she's like, ah, oh, that's great. I'm like, yeah, I know. And I had it like tucked under my arm, like a football. And I was like, you're not getting this, but yeah, Thrifting with me can get quite, um, become quite the experience. So another thing that I found, and I think that these are really cute, is I found these super lightweight um, champion trash, or not trash bags, track pants. And when I got them, um, they actually had just like a little stain right there. Came out in the wash, super lightweight. I love the color. Now, I think, oh gosh, there was a brand that did a collaboration with um, Champion not too long ago, and I know that Bella Hadid was wearing a lot of their stuff, and it was that real bright red, and I saw these, and again, I had to have them. They have the zip up the side, so if they're a little bit longer, they'll just go right over the top of my little sneakers. Um, yeah, no, I... The red, I had to have the red. And these were like seven bucks. So I was like, mm-hmm, these are coming home. I didn't have to fight anybody for these because there wasn't really anybody around, but I was ready to. So I found these and then I wanna, sh I'll show you one more thing. And then I, I won't show you anything else because I want you to be um, surprised when you see it, but I found this windbreaker and I thought it was so cute. Now I made the mistake. I thought it was all retro. I thought that this was going to be vintage. I thought that this, cause it says 1776 right here. I'm like, Oh, this is from the 1976 Olympics. I just scored a super rare windbreaker and it's not, it's on Poshmark for like 20 bucks. But I just think this has the cutest vibe for for fall and for spring and I would wear it with hello Mrs. Cox Mrs. Cox is back but I would wear this um I don't know with maybe some mixed battered pants over my over my overalls I just thought that this was really cute so I ended up getting this one it's an extra extra large but it fits and I'm like I don't know how this fits but it does so let me show you I just think this is so cute. I like how it's a little oversized. I love the color. I love that it has the little 1776. So I can pretend like I was in the 1976 Olympics, even, even though I wasn't. And yeah, I got this one. Again, this is an extra, extra large and it was like 12 bucks. And my tip for thrifting, on top of you know watch your cart make don't make direct eye contact is you need to look for items 
in different sizes, all right? I always look for my jackets and my sweaters. I go all the way up to extra large because a lot of times the vintage items run super small, so they'll fit anyway. And then a lot of times people put things back in the wrong spots. And the end caps, like at the very end of the aisles, that is, Pamela says looks fab. Isn't that fun? You know what? That, I think it was like nine bucks and it's just a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, Pamela, oh, there's more. I'm not showing you everything because you have to wait for the video, but um, they are just absolutely, uh, you know, again, I'm sorry, I lost, I was putting on my lipstick and apparently I can only do one thing at a time. But um, look at the end caps because people will grab things and they'll carry them around with them and then they don't want them anymore. And unlike me, because I put all my stuff back, they just put it at the end of the aisles or they'll go to try it on and then they don't want to walk it back. So I have found some really amazing things on the end of the aisles. And then I found an Elton John record. I found Helen Reddy, um, I Am Woman record. I found... Um, I found, oh gosh, Harbor Valley PTA, which was one of the, I, I think we had two records in our house. One was Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, and the other one was Harper Valley PTA. Don't know why my mother and dad had the strangest music collection, but I got that one, and then I got the Kinks, and the record selections, they were four bucks each, were spot on, and I was like, yeah, and the, um, the Kinks album and the Elton John album, some really cool guy was, you know, he was an older guy, but he was carrying them around. And I didn't realize that. So when I was looking at the records, he came and he put both of those back. And as soon as they touched the shelf, they were mine. And then he's like, those are really good albums. And I'm like, I, I'm like, you don't want these? And he's like, Mm, he's like, no, he goes, I already have that one. And the other one might be a little scratched. I'm like, you know what, for four bucks, I'm going to give it a go. And so yes, yesterday when I was, um, when I was cleaning my house, I was listening to my Elton John record. So it was a lot of fun. You know, it, it was a very unexpected thrifting haul, but it was a fun thrifting haul. And sometimes going in and looking for a specific brand or a specific item, you overlook things that can and are really cool. And I really like those and everything else I got. And it was it was fun. That will be out this week. Um, I'll, I'll do the thrifting haul video this week so you can see the whole adventure. Yeah, so I got... Uh, I got something from a shampoo company that I wanted to open up because I they sent me an email and they're like, hey, did you get my package? And I'm like, hey, yeah, I just haven't opened it up. So I thought we would open it up together. And the company is, apparently they use a lot of tape. It's Fable and Maine. And it's a company that was developed by two sisters who wanted to do more of a natural hair products. So we're going to see what this is all about. And I um, love the kink score. I know it's a double album. I'll go grab it right now, Pamela, and I'll show it to you as I like almost cut. I'm dangerous with scissors. I don't know why anybody allows me to use scissors. So let me get this here. And <laughs> I definitely don't want to harm myself on my live stream. So there we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Very cool. Okay. So again, it's called Fable in Maine. And let's see what we got. It's something in a spray bottle. Hold on, hold on. Apparently these are the dullest scissors ever. Okay, so this is a detangling leave-in conditioner. Hold on, Ugh. Okay. Guacamole. All right. So it's the Fable in Maine, and this is a leave-in detangling conditioner. Let's give it the sniff test, because that's super important. Ooh, 
It has a very nice um, smell, but not overpowering. So we have that. We have Wild Ginger Purifying Scrub. Ooh, I like that. So you can scrub your scalp. Because what you want to do is you want to activate um, your hair growth. Um, it says, apply a teaspoon of product to wet hair, gently massage scalp. Guess who's giving herself a scalp massage in the shower tomorrow? And I'll let you know how that was. We have a hair mask, which is a rich repair for stressed hair. So we have that. And I like the little tigers on top. And then we have um, a soothing serum for all hair types. So they have a soothing serum. And smooth and shine hair oil. Love it. And I'll go ahead and I'll tag all of these so you can take a look at them also. Um, this is a, ooh, a stronger hair begins with healthy roots shampoo. Are you planning to grow out your hair or keep it short? Oh, I'm going to, I'm a buzz cut for life type of gal. There's, I could not even imagine having longer hair. So I got a little hair clips. So I will, I have nothing to clip them to. I got, let's see here, a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see, I got a comb. It's a very nice looking comb. And I don't want to rip up the box, but I got a comb. Because you know what, every once in a while I like to brush out my little, my little buzz cut. And this is a cooling scalp mask, which sounds really nice. You know what? Sometimes I think that we forget about our head, like the top of our head. Um, and because I never thought about like serums and stuff like that for hair. It says the products look great. Look forward to your review on them, especially the ginger scrub. Yes, that one was like very intriguing for me. Um, let's see here. This is a gentle care for hydrated hair with coconut and tiger herb. Ooh, this is a shampoo and then conditioner. So I'll definitely, um, I will be trying these. I will go ahead. Gosh darn, this is pretty cool. I mean, this is like really nice. So what I'll do is I will, um, I'll put a little link in the shop my look uh, website and I'll, I'll put it down below of everything that they included and then we'll start doing reviews as I as I use them and yeah no this is really cool there is more in the box than I shot there was going to be so I love that how fun and so yeah we need to pay more attention to our hair and our head. And I think sometimes, like in the mornings when I'm in, a sho in the shower, sometimes I'm in such a hurry that I just was like, and then I go. And you know what? Maybe I need a little bit more self-care in the shower, and I will scrub-a-dub-dub -dub my hair. So let me go grab that kinks record. Hold on. Oh, and I forgot, I also found Nancy Sinatra's These Boots Are Made For Walking album. So this is the Kinks, Everybody's In Show Business. It's a double album, and both of the records are in there. And again, I got it for $4.99. And some of the songs, they have, of course, Lola on there. Um, Here Comes Yet Another Day, Maximum Consumption, Motorway, You Don't Know My Name, Supersonic Rocket Ship, on the top of the pops, just all sorts of good ones. I wash my hair once a week for maximum hair growth. Yeah, you know what? I just saw. Hold on here. I just saw a TikTok not too long ago of a. Um, the packaging's really cool, but I saw this TikTok yesterday or over the weekend of this younger gal who no longer is washing her hair, and the only thing she'll do is I think she. Uh, like occasionally will condition it, but she stopped washing her hair. And a lot of times the hair products, I don't know, it's so weird. It's like, you know, this is super conditioning hair product. And then the first ingredient on there is alcohol. And I'm like, how can alcohol be a conditioning product? And so it's really, um, it, it's really, it, it's sometimes I think we fall victim to the packaging and to the marketing. Pamela says, nice, that album is great for um, $4. What a steal. 
Yeah, it is actually four dollars. It's three ninety nine. And I was just, uh, the albums that I found were just amazing because usually I don't find that good of items. So, okay, so I just said that we are a, we, we fall victim to really good marketing and really good packaging. And what happened is, is that I was doing my Amazon shopping and I did a video yesterday where I'm going to start finding really cool Amazon finds um, from TikTok because there's things out there that I never even knew existed. And one of the things that I found and I actually bought is this Bloom greens and superfoods and so that got me kind of interested because i'm like what in the heck is a superfood i mean really is this just like a marketing thing is it something that we need to be you know incorporating into our diets what is a superfood and what it is is it's basically i mean it's not like one food is going to cure all but there are foods out there that are higher in minerals higher in vitamins and they're really good for you and so I, I'm on this intermittent fasting thing, and I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shy away from that. But what I want to do, is I want to make sure. Hold on here. Do do do. I want to make sure that when I do eat, I'm eating healthy and I'm not robbing myself of minerals or vitamins or anything like that. Now, I've really liked my intermittent fasting. It's becoming, it has become very easy for me to be able to incorporate not so much as the diet, but more like a, um, like a routine. I guess that's a better way to put it. And what I have decided to do is I decided to try out the Super Bloom stuff. And this is greens and superfoods. And the one that I picked was for digestion, bloating, and immunity. Because I personally, in my journey of me being me, the, it seems like the older I get, the more, the more problems I have with my digestion and pooping. Yes, I said that it seems like everything slows down and I'm like, it makes me feel icky. I don't like that. And one of the things that is, has really helped is the intermittent fasting and I'm drinking more water. But I, again, I wanna go into this with the best game plan, I guess you could say. So what I have decided to do is, because I get to eat at noon. At noon, I have my first meal. And what I have been doing is, is I will have like a protein bar and then I will make my lunch. And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, I've just eaten my first meal and it is, um, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. I have until six o'clock. What am I gonna do for the rest of this time? So I decided to get this. This is again, um, it's a powder. And I am going to turn this into a smoothie. And I'm going to just use ice, water, and Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I'm going to put a spoonful of this in it, and I'm going to make myself a smoothie. Now, I'm sticking my finger in here, and it's green because it's a green food. It's the super greens. And I found a little scooper, and the little scooper's this big. So... I'm going to change things up yet once again. I'm going to have ice. Um, I'm going to have ice, this, the Greek yogurt, and one little spoon of my super greens. And that's how I am going to um, eat that right at noon. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I was planning on, I have my ninja right there, but I don't really want to sit here and be like, Whoa during my live so i am going to wait until noon because i really want to stick with my my game plan and my diet and um, but having stuck my finger in my superfoods it's actually really tasty it tastes like like oh well. it tastes like i was gonna say it tastes like berries but it does have a little underlying hint of green vegetables. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, you know, I, I, again, I have until noon. I'm going to wait until noon. And I am just experiencing a hideous 
hit a hot flash right now. Just so you know, this is real life. I'm sitting here and probably my body temperature is about 302 degrees right now. And I don't know if you can see my face is all glossy, but I'm going to work my way through this hot flash. But I'm going to have my smoothie and then I will have maybe like um, one other really healthy snack. But I'm going to try having my big major meal closer to like 3.30, maybe 4 o'clock. And then that way, when 6 o'clock rolls around, I'm not sitting there and panicking and trying to eat another meal. Um, Mrs. Cox says, um, putting powder in a smoothie instead of eating my veggies makes it so much more uh, appetizing. You know what? And that's what I was thinking, too. And here's the thing is, it's like, because I am a vegetarian and I eat a lot of vegetables, but to me, it's like if I'm going to put something in my mouth and I'm going to eat it, I want it to have maximum benefit. You know what? I don't want to waste my calories and I don't want to waste my food on things that are not going to, um, that aren't going to be beneficial. And so I'm like, you know what? And it all comes back to self-love and it really all comes back to just me being like, Lonnie, you know what? You deserve to be healthy and you deserve to take care of yourself. So I am continuing to just try to adjust my, my eating habits to be the best, um, to be the maximum benefit. So I will definitely do that. Now, Pamela says, i um, seen a lot of TikToks about Bloom. Keep us posted. Absolutely. And what I'll do is I'll actually film uh, myself making it today because I need to go get my Greek yogurt. And so I'll film it and I'll show you how easy it is to make it. And then I'll show you that tomorrow. So that way it's kind of like you can, you can be there with me while I'm doing it. And again, it's just something that if, if I'm going to eat it, it's going to be healthy. And, and I think that just goes back from me living so many years and so many decades of not taking care of myself. I mean, I used to, my breakfast used to be, without exaggeration, it used to be a Diet Coke, a chocolate donut, and a cigarette. And that, to me, was just the best breakfast ever. I used to go down to a, a donut shop here in town. I would get a large Diet Coke and I loved it. Um, I loved the fact that it, it was on ice and it was in a cup and I would drink that, eat my chocolate donut and have a cigarette. And I'd be like, that was the best breakfast ever. And here I am sober and talking about super, super greens and blooms and I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself that I now love myself enough to be like, yeah, you know what? You're not a cigarette and a donut and a diet, t diet Coke type of gal anymore, Lonnie. Mrs. Cox says, what's your favorite smoothie and what do you put in it? You know, I go back and forth between berry and I love a peanut butter and um, like a chocolate peanut butter and chocolate smoothie and what I'll do is I'll get like a plant-based chocolate milk and then I'll put in a scoop of Greek yogurt and a scoop of peanut butter and some ice and to me that is like oh so good now for the berry ones I have a tendency to get like maybe like the little acai packages or something like that or what I'll do is sometimes I'll get like a a kefir or almost like a a yogurt drink and I'll use that as my base so this is going to be one where it's the first smoothie where it's just going to be the powder and then the yogurt and then the ice and because what I want to do and what I want to be careful of is because just like I love that peanut butter and chocolate one it has more calories than I care so I'm trying to keep it calorie efficient and then healthy at the same time so that's why I'm just going to be using just those simple items. So I will try that and I will record it when I do it today and we'll watch that tomorrow and I'll let you know how that is. So I got all sorts of homework to do today or um, for our next one. I need to get myself a ginger scrub on my head. I'm going to use the shampoo and then I have to make my smoothie. But you know what? I will gladly be your guinea pig. Mrs. Cox says, I love chocolate smoothie because I can't even taste the fruits and veggies. It's like I'm drinking a milkshake, but so much healthier. Absolutely. Pamela says, I love using frozen bananas and smoothies makes it thick and creamy. 
That sounds like a really good idea. So here's the funny thing is it's like the first time I decided to start doing smoothies, um, I was out and I was, I was shopping. I was shopping with Robert and I'm like, hey, I'm going to start doing smoothies. So I'm going to get some protein powder. And he's like, great. And I'm like, well, where's the ice cream? And he's like, what? I go, well, I need ice cream for my smoothie. You know, I have to like, you know, I have to mix it with something. And he's like, mom, he's like, you're taking a really healthy thing and you're making it really unhealthy. And I'm like, well, when you put it that way, it's kind of like obvious. So it's to me, it's like so funny um, it, how it's like sometimes I can be like, I'm doing good. I'm drinking a smoothie. And then I have it packed full of stuff that is not good for me. But I love, I love chocolate stuff like that. Now, here's the thing. It's like if I want to try to keep my protein like shake really um, healthy, instead of using the plant-based chocolate milk, because that still has some calories in it, I'll get my protein powder in a chocolate flavor and then I'll just add, you know, I'll add a banana to that with a little scoop of peanut butter and then um, again, some yogurt. So it's always that. Claire says, I love making the happy shake by Stacy Stowers. It's super um, healthy, but chocolatey. Ooh, I'll have to look into that. I will definitely see. I'll look into that recipe and we'll try that. So, and that's what I'm planning on. Mrs. Cox says, I recently started drinking smoothies and now I'm craving one every day. I think that they are a great, again, a great way as a, I wouldn't say a meal replacement, but yeah, a meal replacement. You know what? I would rather have a smoothie than to sit there and eat like a bunch of just junk. Because yesterday I found myself um, for my little like mid snack, I sat down with a big old container of pita chips and I had some hummus and some cheese and I ate half of the dang box of pita chips. And then I'm like, no, you cannot do that, Lonnie. So I really have to do meal proportioning. I have to do meal prepping and I have to do meal planning because I just, again, I battle with such a such an addictive personality that sometimes I just can't stop. And then sometimes I'm just hungry. And I'm like, Lonnie, if you're hungry, you need to feed yourself. But I just need to pick those things that are the healthiest. So what is considered a superfood? And basically, it says there's no scientific-based or um, regulated definition of superfoods. But generally, a food is promoted as a superfood status when it offers high levels of desirable nutrients, is linked to be preventive in diseases, or believed to offer several simultaneous simultaneously simultaneous health benefits beyond its natural value so seven superfoods are beetroot black currants cold pressed nut oils watermelon seeds um, turmeric which i don't know don't sound all that intriguing or that good um, I'll send you the recipe. Thank you so much. Okay, so here makes a little bit of a better one. Here's another kind of rundown of some superfoods. You have blueberries, broccoli, oats, eggs, spinach, cocoa. It says cocoa nibs, but I don't think that that's the whole thing. So let's see what a cocoa. Um, garlic, blueberries, broccoli, oats, eggs, spinach. I love spinach. In fact, I have to pick up some spinach today. Um, coca nibs. It is basically chocolate booyah. Coca nib flavors range anywhere from extreme bitter to super sweet. They are great to sprinkle into a superfood smoothie or a cake mix and can add some really interesting flavors to your savory snacks. So it is literally coca, which is C-O-C-O-A. Here, let me pull this up here. I don't know why I'm spelling this when I have technology. Good goodness, goodness gracious, Lonnie. All right, so let's go over this list one more time. We'll go from the top. 10 best superfoods. We have garlic. We have blueberries, which I got blueberries the other day, and I love putting them in my cottage cheese. So I got that. Um, broccoli. I love broccoli. Oats. I need to eat more oats. Um, I just don't eat enough. Maybe I'll have, to, I'll have to look into doing something with some oats. Eggs. I love eggs. 
we have spinach and here's that coca nibs i i don't know maybe you all know what that is better than i am no i don't want that but it says right there coca nibs salmon on i don't eat fish almonds i do like that kale now hear me out on kale kale gets i think a um it gets a bad rap I, a lot of people are like, I don't like kale. It, it's too it's too tough to chew. But if you cut up your kale to the point where you take out that real like like the um, the beam that's right in the middle, because I mean you get a thing of kale and it's just got that real thick spine. If you take that out and you actually cook it a little bit, it's not as like. As, as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. And it's a really good way and it's a good superfood. So it, it is definitely something that we need to add into. It says, Lonnie, can you share the link to this article? Yes, Pamela, I will put that right into the description as soon as we are done. And then you can check that out. Because uh, here's my philosophy and I'm gonna say it again. Everything that we talk about, whether it is fashion, whether it is makeup, whether it is food, Whatever it is, we need to realize that it is all a self-love journey and we deserve to get the maximum benefit out of whatever it is we eat. And it doesn't necessarily have to be considered a diet because a diet is so temporary. No matter what diet you pick, chances are you're not going to be able to keep that on, keep that up for a lifetime. But I think healthy routines are achievable. And if we just have that constant mindset of everything that we, we consume needs to be beneficial to us, that's just a mindset. That's not saying that you have to, um, you can't eat a certain food, but if you do, just make sure it's a healthy alternative. Or if you do want to have a snack, then you know what? Maybe have that snack and then go for a walk around the block. It's just a matter of having a healthy relationship with our food. And it becomes more and more difficult to have this healthy relationship when if you're like me and you are a certain age and you start gaining weight regardless as to whatever you eat, it's hard to stay in that relationship with food. At that point, it almost gets to the point where you're like, well, why should I try? I'm gonna gain weight anyway. And I really caught myself saying that a couple of times. And then I really had to stop and I had to tell myself, well, you're gonna try because you're important. You're gonna try because your health is important. You're gonna try because all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm just gonna give up on my healthy eating journey just because it's not working anymore. Then you know what, what's next? I mean, do I just be like, well, you know what, it's just one beer. You know, to me, everything leads and everything is interconnected. And I think that sometimes my, my energy suffers a little bit when I start having that unhealthy relationship with myself and with food. And if I can constantly remind myself that it, I'm eating these things because I want to be healthy, I'm not eating these things because I want to be a certain weight. And to me, that makes the journey much healthier and much more enjoyable. I mean, do I wish I had a super bo supermodel body? Probably. But it's not, you know what, I, I, I am going to just say, I just want to be the healthiest version of me that I can. Kathy says, hi, Lonnie. Sorry I'm late to the party, YouTube. Messed up um, the times. Really? Oh, no, Kathy. Well, I'm glad that you made the last two minutes. You know what? It's always nice to see you. And we had, um, and again, if you do miss any of it, I do um, have them all recorded. Um, Linda says, I just want my weight to be stable. If I can do that, I'm happy. Absolutely. And that's just the whole thing. It's, it's like my niece is a diabetic and she's actually, um, she is controlling a lot of her, it, she is a type one diabetic. I mean, she has to have insulin. She carries, she has her pump. She has everything. So it's not like she can control her, her insulin intake with food, but when she lives a healthy lifestyle, when she exercises, she eats right, she drinks water, she gets enough sleep, 
she does not have to use as much insulin. So there is a real correlation to how we take care of ourselves as to how our body is going to operate. And again, at the end of the day, it is the same recurring message of self-love and just telling ourselves that we deserve the right to have a healthy lifestyle, regardless as to whatever that looks like. It is your lifestyle and you just gotta, you gotta embrace it. You gotta embrace it, my friends. Oh, so I didn't tell you this. Yesterday when we went out to the um, lake with Indy and we were walking around, I looked down at my tire in my car and sure enough, I had two nails in the back of uh, my back tire and I was so bummed. So I dropped it off at the Toyota dealership at six o'clock this morning and 400 bucks a tire and I was just like oh so I'm waiting for Toyota to come tell me to pick up my my car but I'm just like I I, I how how do you get two tires how do you get two nails in one tire and unfortunately it was like one of the nails was right on the um the sidewall so there was no way to patch it so that I, but I guess it's life um, good morning, Teresa. So Claire says, exactly. I struggled with an eating disorder for too many years. I now try to focus on being healthy rather than thin. 100% because I'm telling you right now, when I was, I, I mean, I've always, always, as long as I can remember, had an unhealthy eating habit. I was, um, it, it, it sometimes like when, for me, just when I wasn't drinking, I was starving myself. It was always one thing or the other. So I too, like you, Claire, am very focused on a healthy lifestyle, regardless as to what that is. It just has to be healthy and it just needs to make me feel good about myself. So if, again, if you're out there and you're like, and you're, you're just cannot get a grasp on a, a diet or anything like that, just let that go and just concentrate on healthy diets, healthy food, regardless as to if you intermittent fast or anything else, just be healthy. Just be healthy because I love you and I want you to be healthy and happy and all that good stuff. So, all right, so tomorrow um, we are looking at plus, plus size fashion. We are going to dedicate... Um, a whole episode to that. So what I was going to do, just to kind of give you a little idea, but I was going to find some outfits. I was going to find some outfits like I really like, and then I was going to find an equivalent to that outfit in a plus size um, styles. And that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I'll have them all up. Um, we'll be doing a little shopping together. Oh, Julian. Julian says, first time making a live stream. Hello. Hello. Have you been here the whole time? Hopefully you have because I'm just signing off. So I always start 9 a.m. Um, in the morning. But tomorrow, hopefully you can come back and be with us tomorrow. But tomorrow is plus size fashion. Y'all have given me the courage to explore this a little bit. And I really am looking forward to doing this with you. Um, Mrs. Cox says, my mom is too strict with her diet that she refuses to eat ice cream or chocolate once a year. Now she is very weak and sometimes feel dizzy. I keep telling her to eat more, but she refuses. The, you know what? And truthfully, it's really hard to see and it's really hard to watch. But unfortunately, the only thing you can do is support your mom. But it is, it is so vitally important to maintain a healthy lifestyle for that reason in particular. And so I, I, I don't think you can make your mom eat, but maybe like see if she will, um, see if she will like maybe do some insurers or something like that just for extra, just for extra protein. I know when my mom at the end of her life, um, not that your mom is at the end of her life, but I used to make my mom smoothies, protein smoothies. I would put insure in it. And that was really all about that she would eat. And that really kept her her energy up as much as she could, but I'm not, not that there's any correlation in that, but all right. So everybody, I am done for the day. I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun fashion. We're going to look at some cute stuff. We're going to find some um, plus size fashion. I also too, what I really want to do is I'm going to find some, because I follow them on TikTok, but there are some amazing 
plus size fashion influencers on TikTok. So we're going to be showing, um, we're going to be looking at some of their items and I'll be tagging them also. So if you want to follow them on TikTok for inspiration also, I think that it's a really cool way to just kind of be like, wow, you know what? You, we, you don't have to just, you don't have to be restricted in what you wear. So I'm really looking forward to doing that again. Um, it's y'all gave me the uh, motivation. You've given me the courage and the love to do this. And I'm exciting. I'm, I'm excited to share this with you. So until tomorrow, remember, be bright, be bold, be brave. Give yourself the gift of a healthy diet, regardless as to who you are or what version that is. Um, just know I love you and I will see you all tomorrow. And thank you everyone for joining me. I love you all. And again, bright and early, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will be back and I will see you all then. Bye everyone.